So now let's talk about effects and transition, and I am going to show you how to add effects and transitions when editing. But first let's understanding the difference between effects and transitions. What are effects? Effects are visual enhancements applied to individual clips to create unique styles. And in CapCut there are three types of effects. So, when you click on effect, you will see video effects and body effect. Video effects add effects like blur, glitch, glow, and distortion to the whole video, and body effects are special effects that track and follow a person in a video. Then there are filters which change the overall color and tone of a clip. And lastly the adjustment effect, which help modify brightness, contrast, and saturation of the footages you are editing. So, if you want to add effects to your videos, click on the clip you want to apply an effect. Then go to the effects tab on the left panel. Now, choose between video effects and body effects. So I want to blur the footage. So if you find the blur effect, then click on the download button to download it. Then drag your effect and place it on top of the footage you want to apply it to. And you can drag the edge to trim or increase the duration of the effect. And you can also adjust the effect to how you want here. And if you want to add filters to your videos, click on the filter tab. So, if you find the effect you want to use click on the download button to download it, then drag your filter and place it on top of the footage you want to apply it to. And you can drag the edge to trim or increase the duration of the filter. And you can also adjust the filter to how you want here. And if you want to adjust the colors of your footages. And in CapCut there are two ways to do that. The first one is applying the adjustment directly to the footage, and the second on is adding an adjustment overlay then adjust the colors of the overlay. So, let's begin with the first one adjust the footage directly. So first select the footages you want to adjust, then come to adjustment here, so you can adjust the exposure, saturation, highlight, using the slider under them. And the second method, click on adjustment on the media panel. Then drag and drop a custom adjustment to the timeline. Now come to the adjustment settings panel, then adjust your footage to how you want. And you can also split and trim your custom adjustment. And also extend them to any duration you want. And also, if you decide not to use any adjustment you can delete it from the timeline. Pro tip, use subtle effects to maintain a professional look. Overusing effects can make videos look cluttered. Now let's move on to transitions. So what are transitions? Transitions are used between two clips to create smooth scene changes. And CapCut has a lot of transition styles you can use in your projects. Now let me show you how to apply transitions. So first place the playhead in the middle of two clips, then go to transition. So, there are a lot of transitions here to use. So just click on the plus icon to edit at where your playhead is, or you can drag and drop it at where you want to apply the transition. And now you can use this slider to increase or decrease the speed of the transition. So try the transitions and let me know your favorite in the comment section. Pro tip, use fast transitions 0.5 to 1 second for high energy edits and longer fades 1 to seconds for cinematic transitions. Best practices for professional editing Use effects sparingly, too many effects can make a video look unprofessional. Use smooth transitions, fades and dissolves work well for cinematic videos. Match effects to the video theme, glitch effects suit tech videos, while soft fades work well for vlogs. So if you have any question drop in the comment section, and if you like the video then give us a like and subscribe. See you in the next tutorial.